All right. Hello, everybody in chat. Thank you so much for joining us. We are here uh, for another Monday Commander Challenge. We have some professionals with us today, which is fantastic. Um, we have Brian from Into the 99 and Kristen Emily joining us. Uh, we're super excited to have old friends and new friends. Uh, before we get started, we're going to just go around the table and talk about who we are, where you can find us online, and what commanders we're playing. So we'll start with Brian. Well, uh, I'm Brian. I'm one of the hosts of Into the 99. Uh, we are a uh, podcast. Actually, we do a bunch of different things. Uh, main projects are podcast. You can find it on intothe99.com, as well as any place that you can find a podcast. Um, we have articles on our website as well. Uh, we're currently running a uh, pre-con league uh, so far, first week. Super fun. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, uh, you can find everything on our website. I'll just say that one-stop shop for everything. <laughs> awesome. And who are you playing today? Uh, today I am playing Kadama of the East Tree and Akroma Vision of Ixidor. It's just big keywordy creatures that do things. So if your deck goes off, what do you? What is it going to do for us today? Uh, I'm just hoping for some big beats. <laughs> big beats, nice. That's nice. Basically about it. <laughs> also, it's like complaining to the rest of my group. I was like, you know, what? I was like, all of my decks are just creature beatdown decks. It's like yeah. I have nothing it's other the best than way that. To play one chip, Brian. It's the best yeah, one. it's the most honest way. <laughs> Uh, All right, and Kristen, joining us for the first time. Fantastic. Who are you, you for those that don't know? And uh, who are you playing? Why are you asking me such existential questions? <laughs> right? Who are, who are you? you? Um, no, I am. Um, I write magic content. I like to post about, I just post memes about Lord of the Rings a lot of the time, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I, I've got articles at Card Kingdom and Hipsters. Um, I've done some work on Clarion for my college. Just general things about the place. I like Commander and I like to shout about it. So, yeah, that's me. Um, I, I'm playing Aurelia today because that's totally, <laughs> totally my brand. It's just Aurelia. Hashtag Aurelia. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a deck that likes to spend a few turns dirtling and getting set up and then likes to just do what Brian said, which is hit people in the face. <laughs> I'm happy that I'll at least have blockers. <laughs> All right. And Shauna. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I am playing Samut, Voice of Descent, but this Samut deck is strictly because I wanted the white in there so I could have uh, Tulsimir, so I can have lots of wolves in this deck. So Hopefully we see some. Um, sometimes it doesn't work very well, but we'll see. <laughs> it's lots of uh, lots of wolves coming at you and biting you is my plan. So, so another creature beatdown. This is going to be yeah. a big creature beatdown. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, I'm Leslie and I am playing Otrimi the Ever Playful. I haven't played this one on stream since like last October. So I figured what a good fun day to bring him out. Um, I guess he's kind of another creature beat down but more uh one creature i'm i'm hoping to kill you with commander damage we'll see <laughs> we'll see All right. so we have already done our mulligans and rolled to see who goes first and i happen to be the lucky one who gets to go first and i'm super excited to, to do start us off so i will draw as opposed to lucky number seven that we all roll. right <laughs> Yeah, triple sevens with a ten. I will play a blighted woodland and I will pass. Okay, I will draw and for what I drew, I'm happy I'm going second. I will play a planes, which I will tap for a land tax, and I will pass. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about solving and I was ready to start. <laughs> um I would like to play a command tower and pass. All right. Nice, pretty, full art. Oh, this, this is, is my color. first project. It's going to blind you. Yeah. This whole deck. Um, <laughs> there's a forest, and I'm going to pass. All right. Well, I will play a not as pretty command tower, and I will pass the turn. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look. Well, it's pretty. It's still functional, right? Uh, 
people have more land than me. I'm going to go and search for three. <laughs> Surprise. Hmm. Grab a forest. And... You definitely say that, ass, Chad. I get in trouble because I swear too much, so actually. <laughs> I don't think there's any four-year-olds wow. watching us today. You're no. okay. <laughs> or any conservative grandmas. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a grandma, just not a very conservative one. <laughs> dirty grandma. <laughs> I'm a dirty grandma. That's great. <laughs> okay, so searched up three, shuffle, cut. And draw every day. You shuffle <laughs> every day. <laughs> yes. Um, we're at a place. I'm I'm to to. The, the puns just get worse as the game goes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, puns are one of the best forms of laughter. Mm -hmm. um, tap two for a three visits. Oh, and nice. one, Ooh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I will pitch a forest and pass mm -hmm. the turn. Uh, untap, drop it in. I'll play a plateau. It's it's a fancy ALK proxy. I do own the real one. I just don't want to shuffle it. That's <laughs> fair. Um, like I actually took. Um, I have a revised wheel. Um, and I was looking at it earlier, and I was like, I'm gonna take this out of my deck and proxy it because it's so nice, and I don't want to shuffle yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was lucky enough to pick one up a couple of years ago when they were still like 50 bucks. Um, Lightning Greaves, go. Nice. Draw. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at right, that. Pretty action. Lightning Greaves. Gotta go fast. And that's all I got. Okay, okay. Well, I guess I will just play a dismal backwater and pass okay untap i have the same amount of lands as you so i will not go and find them i will draw that's a shame we'll play another planes i will tap three and we'll play redain god of the worthy oh yeah <laughs> So it is Flying Vigilance, Snow Lands, your opponent's control, enter the battlefield tapped, and non-creature spells your opponent's cast with converted mana cost four or greater, cost two more to cast. All right. Uh, I really like that card. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I like it for the two keywords, and it's shiny, so it had to be in here. Um, I will pass the turn after that. And tap, drop ten. Okay, I I want to get in on some of this land tax action. So, <laughs> the Cavern of Souls naming angels. Okay. And then, not that I don't think it'll be super relevant in this game. There's only one blue player. But, um, and then I'm going to play an Archaeomancer's map. Oh, I love that um, word. I'm going to get two planes. Um, yeah, that's a good one. That's everything for me. Draw. Are the two going into play? Uh, they go to hand. Oh, okay. I was just putting them there to sh so I could shuffle. Oh, I was just going to be happy because then I get to actually go and get my lands. Oh, everyone gets a treasure. Now, chat, just so you know, this is the new treasure. Uh, this treasure cannot tap for, or it's, it's not an actual artifact. And it doesn't count for treasure for any cards that have treasures, but still use it like a treasure. You can still use it like a treasure. Um, so I'm going to play Traverse the Ulenvald to go and find a basic land. Put it in my hand. Seems good. I'm going to find a planes, and I haven't played a land for turn, so I'll just play that. And I'm gonna have. I'm gonna pass with that. So go ahead, Leslie. All right. Is this a non-fungible non treasure? Um. What do you mean? I'm just making a reference to the NFT thing. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, did I miss something? Um, I'm going to use my treasure and then I'm going to play a, no, that's not the right, but I needed one more. Damn. Damn. That's, I'm not going to use my treasure. <laughs> Oh, next point out there's a there's a bot in chat if someone gets a second. I will just play a Golgari rot farm and bounce this and pass. Okay. Untap and draw. Um, we will play a forest. Trigger, trigger, trigger. I'll have a plane. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Uh -huh. Look at all the friendliness happening. Let's just go ahead and tap and use my my treasure here, and we will cast a uh, Kadama. Oh dear! <laughs> I don't know what you guys are complaining about. He's oh, just this friendly dear. tree. He just does tree things and sways. And... <laughs> sways is right. <laughs> yeah, and I'll um, I'll pass the turn. So, so so how many cards do you have in your hand right now? Um, thanks for that treasure a bit more than what I would have. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to skip on a turn. I'm going to skip on a turn. Oh, who are you? No, yeah, so we have a skip a turn. Kristen can't have Boros ramp too hard. Sorry, Kristen, oh. you lose your turn this turn. And every, But oh, everyone wow. gets a tutor. Thank you. Slice of a, Scott. A tutor for oh, anything? Anything, okay. yep. Yeah. Oh, that's so lame. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Wait, do um, I get to draw? Nope. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I love the way they're making me skip a turn while the, the Kadama player. Oh, is Chad is just being ruthless today. So rude. So rude. Wait a second. Can I can I use my channel points to make someone skip? No, you can, unfortunately. <laughs> would that wait, that would be cute. <laughs> wait, Otherwise, my like seventeen thousand channel points would be <laughs> Someone just bought me a tutor, apparently. So it's my turn then, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Kristen can tutor, yes. Um, okay, draw. Okay, I'll tutor then. Let's Seems play good. a forest. And. Um. Oh, there's just so many decisions to make here. Don't do it. I'm going to tap five, my treasure, for the Vilden Pack Outcast. It's a 4-4 four, four with Trample, and I can pay red to buff it up and pay more to transform it. And that's my turn. Okay. I'll draw. We'll play my Blighted Woodland again, and then I'm going to play um, green, green, no, green and one to play Yavamaya Druid. Um, when it enters the battlefield, I'm gonna search for a forest and I'm gonna give that forest to Kristen. You are? Yeah. That's so nice of you. I'm just trying to be That's nice. So nice. You can why don't you just keep it though? Because then I get a land anyway for my arguments, isn't that? Mm, this has forest walk. Hi, Queenie. Alright. I'll take it. So now all all players have green. <laughs> now all players have green mana. Yep. Wait, so I, now that I have a forest, does that mean I can do crazy things? <laughs> it just means that uh, if I attack you with my Yavamaya Druid, you can't block. And I will just pass the turn. Untap. Hey, Cleamy. Uh, does anyone have more than five lands? Um, no. Nope. nope. Oh, okay. Drop. Um, let's go ahead and play a Plains. No, oh, yes, please. I'll have one too. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just want to help you out. I want you to get ahead of me, so then I can, <laughs> I can then get ahead, <laughs> or go get at least more lands out of my deck. Um, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. 
Oh, that forest walk. You just leave my Yav my Druid alone. <laughs> um, okay, I, I will. I got nothing if, right now. <laughs> I'll, I'm willing to make a deal. Okay, yeah. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, I won't I won't touch your Yavimaya if you just don't touch me for one turn. <laughs> one turn, sure. One turn. Okay, I will tap four. Or what do I do play that's ahead of making deals? I will play Court of Bounty. Okay. Um, so I become the monarch. Oh god, this was a terrible game. <laughs> and uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. If you are the monarch instead, you may put a creature or a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Leslie, what have you done? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I will tap two and I will play Rampant Growth. So I will search my library for a basic land card and put that card onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle your library. Shit, it's all another one. <laughs> Um, Our uh, forest is very good. <laughs> a forest will enter and then a plains will enter. Oh, sweet. I'll have another one. Thanks. <laughs> is, it for every, is it for every land that I play? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've played two lands if you have two lands. If they have more lands than me, I get to put land in. So, well, yeah. Yeah, I have. <laughs> More lands. Wowza. So that would Feeling be three lands for land. this turn. <laughs> um, then I will and I'll I'll even be nice, um, Leslie. I will swing for two at uh uh oh sorry, I'm forgetting your name. Uh bottom left. Uh Kristen. Kristen, <laughs> um, I'll swing for two. Oh what? I'll be polite enough to remind you that Redain has vigilance. Oh, why thank you. And then ask me to hit me again. <laughs> um, so oh, I can next so round. I can say yeah again. Again means next turn, so I won't hit you next turn. I will turn five to ten. Okay, then I'll that would be my turn. Uh, I'll play a scavenger grounds. I'll then play uh, one, two, three, four. I'll play a smothering tide. Oh, Ooh. gross. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it. Is and it a foil then, one? It absolutely is, yeah. I have never seen a foil one in person. Basically, every card in this deck is foil. Love it. Nice. <laughs> um, it's been a passion project. I've been building it for like four years, five years. Mm -hmm. so. I see that you're a person of culture like myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta have that one deck, right? You gotta have the one deck where you want it to look real pretty. Yeah. Um, oh, so yes. Many... Sorry, I forgot to draw my monarch. Oh, okay. Thank um, you, chat. With the smothering time of play. <laughs> um, <laughs> so how many cards do people have? I have five. Seven. Seven. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, um, I'm going to play. Indubitably. I want to play. Loki just want to play that, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. I'll play Mia, Crafty Companion. Because that one's cool. And then I'll tap three and use my little treasure and play Wheel of Misfortune. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> well, you, you don't have to say yes to it, right? <sighs> you, so each player chooses a number in secret and then everyone reveals them at the same time. The lowest player, um, if it's tied, it's tied. If the lowest player doesn't wheel. Um, the highest player takes damage in wheels, and anyone in the middle just wheels. So, how do you want to do this? Like, do you I wrote write it down. down. So, a number between what and what? Uh, sorry, what, what and what? Zero just... and infinity. You can bet any number. Doesn't matter. Mm. I have a number written down. I do too. 
All right, we ready? Yep. Six. Four. All right. Zero. Zero. Okay. <laughs> so I take six, and then me and Sean are both wheel. So do I take five damage? Is it the number of cards in my hand? No, you just you take zero, right? Because oh. we we bet zero. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't. So I get rid know. of all my cards. Yeah. Okay. They go into my I, graveyard. Exile. Yeah. Right? Uh huh. I'll discard my Gara. Um. So yeah, Shawnee, you now draw seven. Okay. And I will ask you if you'd like to pay the two for any of those seven. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, no a... I can't. So go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Someone paid for a board wipe. <laughs> what? Baltan. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, so how many how many lands do you have, Brian? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And seven of them attacked, right? Yes. Uh, no, six of them. Uh, yeah, seven are tapped. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Check um, the board. And then... So. Uh, let's see. What would oh, I like to do? Wait, chat. You have to choose with that one. Oh, you have to choose whether that? it's destroy all enchantments, destroy all creatures, or destroy all artifacts. Zuby, it's not that disgusting. Not everyone took the seven, otherwise I'd have a billion treasure. <laughs> I thought I put it in the description, but yes, you have to choose. What are you choosing? What? <laughs> you can't choose everything. <laughs> No, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm wetting at the lands. <laughs> well, one seems kind of rough. <laughs> but for the rest of the game, you can play lands from your graveyard. <laughs> so are we wiping lands now? Are we serious? Yeah. What? Well, Gosh. Okay. does that use the stack or what? No. Okay. It's gonna slow it down. <laughs> All so right. We get, to, we get to play lands from graveyards. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. For the rest of the game. Yeah. Okay. All right. We really have to make that one more expensive. <laughs> um, that's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> geez. Okay. Let me figure what I'm gonna do with my turn now. Uh, I have some mana left, but not much. Um. Jeez. Um, lands, are, lands are overrated anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me try and figure out what the fuck I'm going to do now. <laughs> oh, dear. Let me think. So I'm going to... Well, the Court of Bounty is just too good right now. Like this is this is ridiculous to be honest with you. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna tap four treasures for Nahiri. Oh, and I will exile nice. the land tax because no more lands for you. Oh, that's not nice. Which <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know, you, you just run away with it with Kadama and Land Tax right now. <laughs> Which um, Nahiri is that? Uh, the Harbinger. There we go. And then I will... Oh, oh no. Someone's been exiled. That's what you get for targeting my land tax. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just got kicked. You, you have permission to come back now. Can I still have my land tax now? I mean, <laughs> with Smothering Tide on the, the battlefield, that's uh, actually pretty good for yeah. you. And then I'll tap <laughs> the remaining three treasures for an aura of silence. Silence! Um, because I am definitely blowing up that cart of bounty before it gets back to you. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, that's everything. 
Okie dokie. Um, this has been wild so far. Uh, it's crazy. Um, Chat just want to watch the world then. Yeah, yeah. the the, 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 the land, uh, elusive definitely. fifth player of chat is always super fun. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to play Sheltered Thicket, Mountain Forest, Interest Tapped. And hmm. so is the effect for playing ones basically Crucible of Worlds? Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. And I will pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. And then I will play Command Tower from my graveyard. Right and oh, I okay. will discard an Exotic Orchard because I have too many cards in hand. And I will pass. Okay, so in your end step, I'll blow up the Court of Bounty. Do you, is that a, oh yeah, you just sacrifice it, okay. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I have some presents. Yeah. Nice. That's true. And my draw as well. Uh, draw. I guess play a land. So, so it does. We're saying that it acts as a crucible of worlds. So, if I play a land, I can play another land from my graveyard. No, crucible says you can play them. Kadama says from your hand, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. Yep, yeah, from your hand. That sucks. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, let's go. Planes. And I guess uh, oh, I'm sorry, not gonna hit I here. Play. I was meant to put the spirits on here. Is that all right? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'll hit your planeswalker. You're hitting my planeswalker for two. Yep. That's enough to kill her. Yep. Damn. All right. <laughs> enough of... Thank you for your help. And that will be a pass for me. All right. Cool. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, that's not how it works at all. Someone's telling me to read the fucking card in chat. So, <laughs> Neil says, when my planeswalker gets attacked, I put a loyalty counter on it. So, she survives on one. Oh. Huh. Who knew? Sounds good. Who okay. Knew? That's cool. I This is the first time I'm playing with this card. I just right. like the fact chat that it's a card. Chat would like us to all draw a card. Oh, my God. Oh, sick. Okay. I'll have three treasures. Yeah, you will. Oh my gosh, this is going well for you. <laughs> it's twice. It's twice. We get to draw twice. Twice. What? Oh yeah, we wow. get to draw twice. Oh, oh sick. I'll have another three. Oh, look at that. Big turn one, for Kristen two, here. Three, oh, four, there's another five, one. Six, there's seven, another eight. one. Oh my gosh, scrap trawlers. <laughs> there's there's some real borrow stands in chat right now, isn't there? I guess so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to discard so many cards. Uh, so I'll play a land from a graveyard. I play... will pitch a plane. Yeah, I was like, now we can just pitch land. Windswept teeth, actually. <laughs> Suddenly, wait, why, like why are you pitching to discard? Because I, they made me draw way too many. That yeah, would be my you, you get right? them until oh. the end of your turn. So you only have one cleanup, and that's at the end of your turn. So if you draw in someone else's, you can go over seven. Yeah. Okay. Um. I will play this cavern from my bin naming angels again. Um, I will, let's see. What shenanigans can we do? Because that's apparently what chat wants. Yeah, chat wants chat shenanigans. Wants shenanigans. Yeah. Chat yeah. wants what chat wants. Mm -hmm. So let's play. Um, well, there's a card in my hand that's like literally useless right now, which is hilarious. It requires people to have lands. <laughs> Um, oh, I kind of just want to low-key play Aurelia here. So I'm going to attack this for Aurelia and then use five treasures. What's 12 minus five? That's seven. Kristen's brain is not getting the blood because she's digesting food. <laughs> um, Aurelia comes into play. I have seven mana left. Oh, I was sequencing Kristen. That was awful. <laughs> uh, I should have played the Tome of Legends first. Can I do that? Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, um, oh. They don't like you that much because uh, all commanders are now returning to the <laughs> command zone. Wait, I what? tell you, midday commander. Nobody okay. does this at night. <laughs> you midday people that watch Twitch have way too much so, like, spite in your blood. 
just goes back to the end zone. It doesn't cost more though. Away again. It doesn't cost more to play though because of that. Oh, so it's not like a regular. No. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Let's see how it is. Um, I'll I'll take up Nahiri and I'll discard this Skyclave apparition to draw a card, and then I'll play. Oh, I'm dumb. I could do silly things and I forgot I could do them. I'm stupid. Don't don't invite me to play after I've eaten again. <laughs> <laughs> I miss playing like crazy. Oh, you don't even know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna play uh, I've got five mana left. I will use it for karmic guides and bring back the Skyclay Reparation. Um nice. And then the Skyclave is going to exile Redain. Um, and then I guess I have combat, right? So mm -hmm. I will. How big is the Yavimaya Elder or younger? Uh, 2 1. 2 1. Okay. I'll swing this 2 3 on it at you. Okay. I'll just take 2. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, they'll do it. They'll do it. <laughs> okay, and to Trust is like, I want to see her earlier, but not now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am going to play a um, Planes from the bin. And tap two. Right. I'll get a Planes. Scorn Villager. Um, actually, not a Planes. I'll get an Emeria. Okay. And um, I just played a Scorn Villager, late, uh, Leslie. And... Scorned villager. Thank you. And I'll go to combat and swing with a 4-4 four, four at uh, Brian. Okay, I'll take four. Okay, and then I'll pass and I have to discard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just okay. I'm going to play Exotic Orchard from my graveyard. <clears throat> And no more. No All right, I'll have a treasure. I'll have a mountain. Oh, yeah, Christian so, treasure for me. I think I need. I think I just need to wait. So I will discard three land and some other stuff. <laughs> Pass the turn. Okay, draw. Uh, play a planes. I'll tap two for Wheel of Sun and Moon. What does that do? Wheel of Sun and Moon is an enchant player. I'm going to enchant myself. If a card would be put into enchanted player's graveyard from anywhere, instead that card is put on the bottom of that player's library. Oh. Mm. Um, I will pitch a windswept teeth and I will pass. Okay. Uh, I accidentally put that mountain in when no one had my land, so I just put it back in my hand. Um, draw for did you get the treasures from all those? I did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I absolutely did, because that's silly, isn't it? Here's a mountain. Can't, well, Karmic Guy goes away. And so I can go one, two. Three, four for a Thran Dynamo. And then I'll tap five for Reforge the Soul. Each player discards their hands and draws seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, wait. In response to that, I am going to. Uh, tap one, two, three, and uh, destroy target artifact or enchantment, destroying smothering tithe. Does that cross and grip? Yeah. Oh, that's so good right now. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Um, so I get to draw a card um, because of this thing, um, but I can't respond or anything like that to the mm -hmm. stuff. So, it so 
A Plains, My Own Smothering Tithe, Elder Gargaroth, Nyx Bloom Ancient, Seabor Muse, Liar the Dawnbringer, and Righteous Valkyrie go to the bottom of my library. Mm -hmm. nice. I'm just adding Crush Contraband, Waves of Aggression, Mana Geyser, Plains, and Sword of Light and Shadow. Seven, and then there's another draw in the <laughs> in the chat. Oh, jeez. Okay. I, I lose Veil. Well, at least this Miller and Tide's gone, right? At least this Miller and Tide's gone. Yeah. My poor questing beast. Six. And my Capricornian. Oh. To, be, to be fair, this Miller and Tide was doing, like, way too much. So. Yeah, <laughs> it needed to go. <laughs> I will then... Um, Put my land separate. So, do, 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 do. do I have anything else to do? Not really. So, I'll send. Oh, and uh, Harry can do stuff. Um, um, and Harry can. I'll just do Harry plus two again. Um, and I'll discard a. What should we discard? I don't really want to discard any of this, so I'll just plus two her and not discard anything. Um, but I will have to discard something under turn, which sucks. Um, so I'll discard a burnished heart. Well, no, I need to combat first. Um, Skyclave can... How big's their mana dock, Shana? Uh, it's just a 1-1. One, one. All right, I'll send two at you. And then I'll discard the burnished heart and dip it in. Okie dokie. Untap. Draw. I will play um, Rootbound Craig from my graveyard. It doesn't come in tap because I have a mountain. I will tap three, four, a Wolf Fair Avenger. It's a 3-3. Three, three. And I have to discard. Um, hang on. Um, let's send four at uh, Leslie this time. Four, four. I will take it. Okay. And I'll pass. I have to discard card. I can't believe chat was so savage blowing all the lands up. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's Baltan. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play it for us from my graveyard. And uh, then I'm going to tap three to play Akima or Akima. Anyways, um, he's a werewolf. Leslie, Leslie, do you have two graveyards going on? Yeah, this is just my land. Oh, right. Okay, sure. I just was like, is that one in play? No, that's fine. Yeah, no, those, that's just easy, so it's easier to find. I'm going to go search, and I will move to combat. Do you have any force out right now, Brian? No, but I have no creatures, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, Shawnee, you have the most life, so I'm going to swing at you for two. Sure. Since you swung at me. And then I'll pass turn. Okay, untap and draw. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, fortified village plains. Fortified. <laughs> I will tap one soul ring. Nice. Tap two, tap my soul ring for Jacilla the Broken Blade. Nice. Ugh. Don't worry, the other one's not in here because I don't think it's in the colors that I'm playing. Um, then I will pass the turn. All right. And tap. Draw for 10. Um. <laughs> Akeem is kind of cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, it's unblockable, right? Um, yeah. Can't be blocked. That is 
pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do this turn? Oh, I have fun dynamo mana. That's actually better than I thought I would be. Um, so, hmm, six, seven mana, seven mana. What does that do for me? Not a whole lot. I guess I could do that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Let's play an Arid Mesa. And then attack. Uh, no, I actually do need to crack that now, don't I? I'll crack the Arid Mesa and lose a life. I'm going to land. Oh, my deck's a lot thinner than it usually is at this point. Yeah. It's <laughs> all so that land in the graveyard. <laughs> I'll get a sacred foundry. Oh, damn. I'm a dumb dummy. I could have just played a mountain from my graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. There goes my life. Um, tap red, red, and three, four... Glory bringer. Nice. Oh, like one of my favorite magic cards. What does it do? It's one of my favorites too. It's a 4-4 four, four flying haste dragon. And I can exert it when it attacks. And if I do, it deals far damage to target non-dragon creature. Huh. Yeah. So in the spirit of all things <laughs> great and glory of bringing um <laughs> I'll go to combat. <laughs> And I'll swing the angel over to who's on the most life. Oh, it's kind of tied. Um, I'll send it at Brian and I'll exert it and deal four damage to Gisela first. Oh, I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Gisela's just good though, right? So you're just going to blow up my, my creature? Yeah. Okay, it goes then, to the bottom of my library. And then you take four. Oh, so you can't even Bruner it right now. That's good for me. Oh, I don't have the other one anyways. <laughs> one, and then, two, three, so that's four. what happens. I'll pick up Nahiri by two. And I get to do the looty scooty dooty. So what am I going to do? Am I going to discard something? Yeah, I'll discard land tax and draw a card. Because land tax doesn't seem great for me right now. And then... Yeah, I think, yeah, that seems fine. I'll, I'll pass it there. And tap, draw. This seems like really gross what you got going on there, Kristen, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play a forest from my bin. I mean, all I'm hearing is that you're, that you like it. Scared, <laughs> that I'm scared of you, yeah. <laughs> Or for Beast Whisper, Whisperer. Um, I will go to combat and swing four four. How big is um, the little fox? It's a two three. three. Yeah. Swing the oh, four four so. at Harry. Mm -hmm. So when you swing into Harry, she gets a counter. Okay. And then I will. Hmm, it's a 4-4. Four, four. That's quite big. Um, but I think I shall... It has throw... trample. It has trample. Yeah. That's actually super relevant. Um, mm. Hmm. Indeed. Oh, boy. Oh. So do I care about Nahiri is the question. <laughs> I think I do, considering she's on 8. So I'm going to, in response, tap for one and draw a card from the Tome of Legends. See what I get. That's not anything. Um, I will double block and then, so I have a two, three and a two, two. So which one do you want to kill? The fox. Um, I'll kill the fox. Yeah, seems relevant. And that's it for my turn. I don't even think I've seen this new Planeswalker protection creature. 
he's it fine. looks it's, pretty it's, good. It's um, it's Luca on the other side. Oh, okay, it's the Luca. Gotcha. Luca can discard a card to draw a card, and if it's a creature, you draw two instead, and it can reanimate creatures. Pretty cool. Very good. <clears throat> All right, so I have played my Otrini. Um, I have mutated it onto the Werewolf. And I am going to swing um, six at Nahiri. So is it Trample? Yeah. All right, so Nahiri It can't gets... be blocked. Nahiri doesn't get a thing. It can't be blocked. Um, I'll tap for white and give Nahiri protection from, um, let's say, it's blue, right? Black, blue, and green. Okay, well, I'll give Nahiri protection from blue until end of turn. Nice, nice. Using ice shield. All right. I will pass the turn. This Nahiri just doesn't want to die. She <laughs> is like... Read the room, <laughs> Nahiri. <laughs> let, let, me um, it. let them come up with a good pun for this one. <laughs> I will play a planes. I will... Actually, no, I want to play like the There's best. There's increasing vengeance going on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I play a forest from my bin and tap six. Due to that return, Kadama doesn't cost two more, correct? Correct. Okay. Kadama will enter. Please just leave my stuff alone. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to you, chat. Leave I'll pass the turn. <laughs> um. So, well, no, I'm more, more talking about the Nahiri. She blew up my other uh, stuff. <laughs> yes. I'll untap and then um, drop a turn. And then i probably play a land from the bin. Let's see what's in here that's good. Ah, oh, there's a plateau. I'll have one of those. Um, oh, Nahiri can do her ultimate. That's kind of cool. Um, do I do that now or later? Wait, let me reverse my land drop a second. I don't want to do my land drop yet. Because I have to think about how, how do I do this? How do I do this? Um, hmm. Let's, let's, um, let's ultimate in here, because that's what we came here to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to search my library for an artifact or creature, put it into play, it gains haste, bounce it to my hand, end of turn. Nice. Dash. So, yeah, let's see what nonsense I can do. <laughs> Pure, unadulterated nonsense. <laughs> um, this is, there's some options. There's some options. I feel like someone's getting bonked pretty hard here. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. <clears throat> uh, how, I'm going how, to... how do you swing at chat when they're not in the game? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll swing at chat. Um, I will bring in Mirog, Fury of Akum. Oh, no. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. He be coming. I don't have a blank steal in this deck. Come on, Rich. <laughs> um, so blight steal comes in. Not blight steal, sorry. Someone's talking about <laughs> blight steal. This is <laughs> um, I'll give him haste with the Grievy Greaves. Um, I'll then cast Aurelia. Did um, you have haste already? <laughs> I had haste already, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did have haste. Okay, <laughs> if you want to, like, put your greaves on your Aurelia instead. But... Okay, yeah. I mean, she has haste too, right? So. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'll then go to the fighty fight bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so let's work this out. Um, I will... So, hmm. Let's see about blockers. So there's a Kadama on the ground. That's something that needs to be respected, I think. It's a 6-6, six, six, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he's not just on the ground. He has that wavy bits in the air. He has reach. <laughs> he has <laughs> reach. Wavy bits in the air. <laughs> he has reach. Oh, dear. Yeah, he That's has reach. Good. And for some reason, Eldrazi's don't. So mm -hmm. I don't know how that makes sense. Yeah. Well, so, like, that's super interesting because that means that, like, you're unlikely to get attacked right now. <laughs> oh, then I'm super happy. Enjoy. You have fun. Yeah. So I'm going to... Has anyone else got reach or flying? 
I do not yet. Okay. Nope. <clears throat> so let's go Aurelia into Shauna and Marag for six into Leslie. Trigger. So both of these get plus one plus oh until end of turn from Marag. And then I untap and there's an extra combat after this one. So that's four in the air from Aurelia and seven on the ground to Leslie. I'm going to block Marag. Okay. Okay, I took the four, obviously. Okay, <laughs> second combat. Aurelia in again at Shauna, but this time for five. And then Marag in for eight on the ground at Leslie. Mm -hmm. I take it this time. Mm -hmm. um, second main phase. My land for turn for my graveyard is going to be Arid Mesa. <laughs> Landfall trigger on Marog. Extra combat. Oh. Um, so whenever land enters, if it's your main phase, I'm going to have that combat on tap the creature. Oh, wait, sorry. I forgot my glory bringer damage. Sorry. Let me wind that back a second. So the glory bringer would untap after the first yeah. combat. And then, so yeah. when I send that one in, that would be five damage in the air at um, Shauna, but I'll use the exert trigger and do four damage to Kadama. I'm not liking where this is going. <laughs> no, 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 no. You absolutely won't. You absolutely won't. And then I'll crack the Arid Mesa, still in my main phase for a land. Um, I blame Bolton. You yeah. always, blame <laughs> always blame Bolton, right? Um, Planes comes in. That's another another combat. <laughs> so um, I go to my third combat, and these creatures untap. Um, so the glory bringers attacked once. So. That's got its own different thing. Um, so Aurelia is now hitting for what? Uh, she'll be hitting for six. That's loads. Um, so Aurelia for six into. So how much have you taken from Aurelia, Shana? Oh, um, three and four is seven, right? It's four and then five. Four and five, so yeah, it was four and nine. Five. So now there's six from Aurelia coming in. Yeah. Right. Um, and then that's nine from Morag going into um, Brian. <clears throat> four in the air from Glorybringer into Leslie, exerted, dealing the remaining damage to the Kadama. And then that's nine on the ground at Brian. I will have to take it. And then I'll go to my next, next combat. <laughs> um, so, sorry, that was um, six in the air with the glory bringer. Yeah. Two. That was to um, Leslie, that one. Yeah, I, I took it. Yeah. And then, so next, next combat, I get to do. Um, so, Aurelia is now hitting for seven. into Shauna and Glorybringer's gonna go, Morag's gonna go into um, Brian and Glorybringer's gonna exert again, going into Leslie. How much, how big is a tree me? Uh, six, six. All right, well, I'll exert the, and kill the beast whisperer. Okay, I'm dead anyway. From, oh, you're from commander damage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was the case. I just couldn't remember. <laughs> So um, that was a turn. So that's, yeah, the final damage from um, Mirage would be 10. Yeah, that was all right. Oh, wait, I have like, a billion counters on Tome of Legends from Aurelia attacking four times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's why they should reprint Fetchlands, because they're good in Commander. People need mm -hmm. them. Yeah. People need them. Um, and after all that shenanigans, I just just that, you know, just that I'll pass. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well then. Hmm. I will play a The Morog bounces, right? Oh, this is very true. So yeah. 
Fable. I should have, if I was playing properly, I've moved the Lightning Greaves um, before that second combat, but I'm an idiot, so. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice and search for a swamp. At least you died to an angel, Shauna. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody draws a card. Thank you. Thank you. That might help. Hmm. Well, I guess I will go one, two, three, four, two. Mutate Cavern Whisperer. So this now has Menace, and whenever this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. And is there any other mutate triggers, or just that one? Just that one. All right, I'll just add a card. Was how, how many lands was that, by the way? Five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, four, four for the mutate cost. Okay. Um, I'll discard a myriad landscape. Okay. And then I'm going to swing at Kristen's face with a tree. How big? Uh, six six unblockable. Gift. That's pretty good. Um, can I interest in you in having a land instead? No. <laughs> <laughs> you you may have a land instead. Oh, back to exile. Right, fine. I mean, if I'm gonna win, I may as well win, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> oh, fine. Okay, so those go to my my bin. And that's land number six. Yes. Okay, which means I get to put a land in. See, pro pro tap there. Pass nice. Land. Does it get come in tapped? No. Uh, it comes in untapped, it but it's only colorless. So. Oh, sorry, mine comes in untapped. Yours comes in tapped. Yeah. All right, that is my turn. Okay, untap, draw. Play a planes. Um, let's go ahead and what I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one, two, three. Danitha. Oh. Compassion Peregrim. Um, <clears throat> Did she pick all the blue options in Mass Effect? No, it's just for Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, or in Equipment Spells, you cast cost one less to cast. Mm -hmm. And then pay another three for Crystalline Giant. Mm -hmm. cool. Um... So, at the beginning of combat, on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random. I gotta get my counters. Come on now. Okay, there we go. Quite exciting. Uh, flying. Nice. That's relevant. That's, That's relevant. awesome. <laughs> yeah, flying first strike, death touch, hexproof, lifelink, menace, or menace, reach, trample, vigilance, and plus one plus one. Uh -huh. Um and then I will pass the turn. Yeah, it's so I'm glad it is less relevant with Glory Bringer. Um but I'll Glory Bringer is exerted Glory. right now, so well, it'll untap though at the start of combat, so I'll at least get to do it once. Uh -huh. um, I have Morog in my hand as well, so I think this game's pretty much over. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see if we can uh, bait that path or swords out of Brian's hand. I'll try and move the boots onto Aurelia. That's fine. Okay. I'll then play. Uh, I think that kind of works, right? 
Uh, I'll tap three and a white, floating, um, floating one um, colorless mana. No, no, I don't think I will do that. I don't think I will. Let's uh, let's just play freaking Morrow. That's what we've came in to do, right? <laughs> so big or go home, right? Red, red. One, two. Oh, Commander, return. Commander, return. Mm -hmm. It's a good job I didn't finish casting Marauder then. <laughs> Um, so I have some matter in my pool. Mm -hmm. um, let's... Uh... Chat just wants us to keep playing, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, can't, we, can't, we probably have time for another game, right? It's been an hour, right? So mm -hmm. um, I guess I just uh, see what happens. I'll play play um, play Maraud. And put some shiny shoes on him. In response. Ooh. Sword. Uh, swords. Yep. That seems absolutely, positively, 100% the correct play. And then that will go to the bottom of my library. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. I'll gain six play. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. no. <laughs> What's the no? <laughs> You're not allowed to have Morog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's fair. Like, it's really strong. <laughs> um, I, guess, I say nay. <laughs> I guess what I do is still probably play a land from the bin. Um, but it'll probably be a plateau this time. And then let's have a think. I would like to, yeah, that seems fun. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> let's not do that. I don't have enough mana. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I'm going to just make this play. I, yeah, I don't have the mana for that play. I, I guess my play is to pass, you know? Yeah. All right. Hmm. Play Fabled Passage. Crack it. Go search for a swamp. Okay, so I think I will do one. Uh, in response, I'm going to draw a card with Tom of mm -hmm. Legends. And then put this land that I just drew into play like a champ. Using Arkham Monster's map. I'm going to play Zaxira. Ooh. And then I'm going to tap three to play Boneyard Mycodrax. So one, two, three. What's a bone? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of other creatures in my graveyard. So it's currently a nine, nine. That's pretty big. And I will pass turn. Okay, untap. <clears throat> Draw. Um, let's go. Planes. Oh, I didn't even draw for turn. Draw, sorry. <laughs> um, Just so excited about one, what he's doing. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to tap out <clears throat> for eight and play Avison, Angel of Hope. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, in response, put sadness on the stack. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, you got it. That's a good one. Okay, I will move to combat. Oh, wait, 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 no, wait, wait. Mm, do oh. I do something, actually? Yeah, do you know what? Um, before Avacyn hits the field, um, I'm going to turn your giant into an elephant. Sounds good. Or, well, I guess I get my elephant. That will go to the bottom of my library. Right. Mm hmm Oh, come on. Dry it. No. <laughs> um, then I will move to combat. Mm -hmm. um, I will send five at you, Kristen. Does the elephant have haste? Oh, nope, I guess not. I'll take two. two. And mm -hmm. I will gain two. Super relevant right now. And I will pass the turn. All right. I need to deal with the problem that is Avacyn. <laughs> How does one deal with a problem like Avacyn? Um, maybe with the spell that I used the turn before. <laughs> Not good. Um, well, I'll start off my turn by playing planes. Um, And then I'll, yeah, I think this is correct. Correct Amundo. Um, three, four, five, and Cavern of Souls. Du, du, du. I'll play Angel of Serenity. No. <clears throat> um, that comes into play, I will exile Avacyn underneath it. I will exile some cards from my graveyard underneath it, including Mila and uh, Karmic Guide. Hmm. Um, I'll put some fancy shoes on her. <laughs> Gotta be fancy. And then, oh, I've still got six mana. I could do some nonsense. Um, or do I? Probably not, you know? I don't think there needs to be any nonsense right now. So instead, I'll, um, I don't have two combats. Oh, wait, I do have two combats because I can recast a relic. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can't because I don't have enough colored mana. One, two, three. Oh, I do have enough colored mana. This has been a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's pretty such good. Such a roller coaster. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So Aurelia comes in. Go combat. Swing. Um, Glorybringer and Aurelia at. Um, Brian, exert and kill Zaxara. Mm -hmm. Send the Angel of Serenity for five to Leslie in the air. And that's how much damage coming at me? Uh, seven. Second combat, I untap these. Um, and how much is Commander? Uh, three. There we go. That was 13 minus 7, right? Uh, it was 15, because I gained 2. Absolutely. You right. did. Well spotted. Better than me. I missed that one. Uh, so then I'll send the remaining 8 damage um, at uh, Brian and 4 in the air to Leslie. Hmm. And then, yeah, over to you, Leslie. All right. Oh, do you know what we totally forgot about? Because Monarch technically should have stayed in the game. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, I guess I, I mean, I'm already winning. I don't need to draw more cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll draw this turn if you like, but yeah. 
Yeah, because that's the weird three, one, isn't it? Monarch four, in the game. Oh, there's another card draw. Oh. Oh, thank you. There's a kill shot. Oh my god. Are you killing me? Do <laughs> me. <laughs> Amazing. They're not even giving me the You know what? Thing. It's okay because you would have killed me anyway. So <laughs> yeah. um, I was gonna dirge bat and try and get rid of your Aurelia or your glory mm -hmm. bringer and then get some reach out on the battlefield, which might have helped me stay alive, but it wouldn't have helped me win the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have just let Aurelia go to the graveyard and then resurrected her with something that was in my hand. So. Nice. Yeah. Oh, well, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much good. for joining us. That was super fun. Um, I don't know if we want to play another game at this point or if we're done for today, but uh, I'll leave that up to you guys.